Hello and welcome to another episode of Cascadia Mountain Weather. It's Thursday, February 1st, and after a week of warm, wet, atmospheric rivers, we are we're definitely hitting a low point this season, Wyatt. So tell us about the snowpack. So normally around this time of year, we'd have the State of the Union address. This year, it's a little bit later, but um, I have to say that the state of our snowpack is poor. Um, Yikes. Right right now, uh, we're about in the worst conditions, especially in the North Cascades and the Olympics that we've seen. Uh, maybe not quite as bad as 2015, but definitely in the one of the like top five worst years. We're looking right now at uh, Baker, and this is over the last kind of 70 years-ish, uh, almost 80 years of snow data at the ski resort. And you can see that right now, uh, as of today, the snow depth was 45 inches. We should be closer to 125 inches right now, so we're a third of what is normal. Uh, and there's only a couple of years, 2015, 1977, uh, in 81 uh, that are really below this year. So um, it is not great. Um, that is partly a result of everything that's happened up to this point, but we really lost a decent chunk of snowpack in this uh, in the past week. Um, temperatures over this past week were significantly above normal. Um, it was probably the warmest, one of the warmest winter weeks we've ever seen, um, especially in the lowlands. Um, Temperatures were kind of 10 to 15 degrees above normal, if not a bit more. Um, it kind of erased all of that negative temperature departure that we had from a couple weeks ago. Um, record highs were set. Um, this is for only for locations above 2,000 feet. Um, and Paradise was up at, to 56 degrees on, this is for Monday. So these are the high temperatures. So Paradise got up to 56 degrees. Baker got up to into the 50s as well. Um, into the Olympics, it was in the 60s. I mean, Bellingham hit 68 degrees. Um, there are a couple isolated spots that approached 70. So uh, it was a warm week. Um, so this was our state of the snowpack about a week ago. Um, we were below normal, definitely in the North Cascades and the Olympics, um, but we weren't too bad in kind of the Central Cascades. Um, this is what we have now. So. We've lost about 20% of the snow water equivalent um, down in kind of the central Cascades. The uh, North Cascades have dropped about 10%. The Olympics are really bad. Um, and we're still not quite as bad down in Southern Washington or in Oregon. Um, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's not great. And you can see this, this is looking at Alali Meadows. So this is basically the de facto station for Snoqualmie Pass, although a little bit higher elevation. Um, we we're about 29 inches of snow water equivalent last week, and we dropped down to about 25. Um, this is due like, so the snow definitely compacted, but if it just compacted, um, you wouldn't have seen too much of a decrease in snow water equivalent. So we also probably had uh, rain kind of melting and the top layers of the snow and running off. Um, and you can see this also in the Olympics where uh, some, this station right here, um, water hole, which is about 5,000 feet um, in the Olympics, lost about 50% of its snow water equivalent um, in the past week. The good news is that Temperatures are at least dropping. Um, so that means that the freezing level is gonna go down uh, back to where it is around normal, um, especially by Saturday into Sunday. So that's good news that will stop the bleeding, um, but there is not gonna be a lot of precipitation. You can see down here, this kind of shows the precipitation and there's not gonna be a lot. And maybe later next week we'll see some um, and maybe that'll translate into snow, but for the moment it looks, kind of like a chance of showers, uh, dry, cloudy, um, and not a lot of snow to refresh that snowpack. Here's kind of the current state of things. Um, and uh, we have the storm that's spinning off the coast. It's kind of rapidly filling and moving south. It's gonna come by down in California and provide a pretty decent storm to California, which is good because they need snow as well, but it's really not gonna do much in our neck of the woods. Um, there is, 
like the chance of seeing some showers on this is looking at like the high resolution model um, over the cascades for Saturday, the six hours kind of leading up to 4 p.m. Saturday. And you see that some of the high resolution models are suggesting that maybe there'll be some showers around the North Cascades. These would probably be snow showers um, because the snow level should be in the kind of three to two to four thousand foot range. Um, but a lot of the other models aren't suggesting that. So um, just be aware that there will be probably a couple showers around, um, most likely snow above about 3,000 feet, um, but they probably won't accumulate to much more than an inch or two. In terms of cloud cover, um, Friday looks relatively decent. Once again, there might be a couple showers around. Friday's probably your best chance at seeing some form of precipitation, um, but it does look like it might be sunny down in the lowlands um, and probably some clouds kind of uh, clinging towards the uh, Cascades. Saturday, there's another chance of showers, as I pointed out earlier, especially kind of in this more central Cascades area, um, but you might see the sun. And then Sunday is most likely going to be the best day um, with it clearing out later in the day, probably um, in your best chance of kind of getting some sun breaks. You can also see that in that last model was the European model. And then as we move forward, this is more the GFS or the American model. You can see that there's kind of some sun breaks down to the, the Southern Cascades on Saturday. Um, and Sunday also shows some of those sun breaks. So there is a good chance that you'll see some sun um, if you choose to go out on Sunday. Thanks, Wyatt. So this graphic shows how much snow depth um, different places lost. So over the last week, Baker dropped from 72 to 44 inches. Uh, Hurricane Ridge went from 37 to 24. The only place that really didn't lose that much is Washington Pass. They also got a little bit of snow. So the Northwest Avalanche Center has been, you know, there's been observations out there. Forecasters are still getting out there and assessing the snowpack. This is a photo of Hurricane Hill above Hurricane Ridge. So certain areas are just completely bare in the Olympics now. I mean, this area doesn't get a ton of snow typically, but this is definitely unusual to see almost dry slopes. Um, you know, here's, yeah, some more pictures of Hurricane Ridge, just exceedingly dry conditions. We've also had a pretty big avalanche cycle. Um, the rain, you know, created the typical wet loose avalanche, but then also propagated deeper to wet slide avalanches, wet slab avalanches. Um, you know, in crystal inbounds, there were avalanches running basically to the ground. We have some lingering weak layers that the uh, that this last storm cycle really were able to trigger. And so, you know, if you're looking at getting out in the backcountry. You can probably assume that almost any slope that could slide did slide and is covered in avalanche debris. So that's something that, you know, would make for very difficult ski conditions or even snow conditions over those types of slopes. And it's going to take a while, a lot of fresh snow to cover that up. So keep that in mind for a while. There's some more nasty Abbey debris over in Tumwater Canyon. Uh, the good news is that, you know, avalanche danger is substantially lower this weekend because it's probably going to be, you know, freezing at the passes or so. We've already had a big avalanche cycle. So, you know, most things that are going to slide already slid. Um, so, you know, we're actually probably looking at rare green low this weekend. But, you know, I think that the bigger danger will probably be firmer, icier conditions and avalanche debris and stuff like that. So it could be a good weekend for maybe, you know, snowshoeing in the right places. If it's, if you're not like in ton of Abbey debris um, with consolidated travel, although you probably want the, the type that have good crampons um, for grip uh, definitely could be the best Nordic skiing conditions we've seen in a while um, as temperatures drop below freezing the grooming, you know, gets going resorts could be ripping um, and, you know, there's, great lowland activities in trail running and mountain biking. So the backcountry doesn't look super inviting this weekend, but um, at least it's probably a mostly dry weekend. Finally, we'd like to give a shout out to all of our different patrons. Uh, so these individuals support us um, and they get access to exclusive recreation recommendations that we put out every Thursday. So we go in a little more depth about, you know, like the timing, 
where you want to look for getting out this weekend, what type of activity. If that kind of thing interests you or you just want to support our channel, I encourage you to check out CascadiaMountainWeather.com. Um, we'll also put the link in our show notes and that uh, takes you to our Patreon page. So thank you so much. Um, we hope to bring better news next week about uh, maybe more snow sometime. So let's keep our fingers crossed and do our snow dances. <laughs>